Hello everyone, this is me Sadia here and I'm doing your monthly reading for the month of October 2018. This is going to be for the sign of Capricorn. So let's see what's coming up for Capricorns. I've already shuffled, uh, meditated on the cards and laid out the cards. Uh, I will be, you know, doing, uh, doing a different format this time. I have pulled out four cards along with four um, additional guidance cards from the play cards. And then I have taken one card from the Romance and Jericho, one card from the Miracle Cards by Lara Shaw. So uh, let's begin what's coming up for you for the month of October. Um, be mindful of it that it's a general reading. It may not resonate with everyone out there. So yeah, pick whatever resonates and leave the rest. So let's see what's coming up for Capricorns. Tower um, with two of pentacles. Uh, and by the way, while I was sh uh, shuffling the cards, um, I heard the word meditate. So um, try meditating, try um, um, affirmations also, because I just heard the word meditate or it's like, you know, maybe it, it has some sort of uh, significance for uh, people who are watching this video. So let's see what's the next card. Strength comes with eight of pentacles and then you have nine of pentacles. And then you have Ace of Swords, and then you have Knight of Cups, yay! And then you have Ten of Swords. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, additional love guidance. Stay optimistic about your love lives. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Okay. I will uh, read out this card at the end of the reading. So let me just show you this card that came up for you. Okay. Wow. So Capricorn, I do feel like um, you have been having, you know, hard time deciding on a relationship, I believe. And I would like to take a clarifier here first and then I will uh, get into the reading because I do pick up the energies that you are not going to accept any offer of love from a past person, from, uh, from your ex or something. Wow, there you go. I need to pause the video so I can pick up the cards and I will then show you which cards came up. So, yeah. You have nine of pentacles again uh you do have already it here then you have five of swords and the other card five of cups so i believe you are going to be walking away from um from this ex of yours because this you know the knight of Pen uh, the knight of cups come with the ten of swords so i when i you know turned out the card uh turned up the card so i i could feel that you know you are going to choose to be single uh, rather than to be in a relationship which was uh, giving you um, negative feeling towards it. it it's, it's more like, you know, um, I do feel like, you know, you, you, um, for those of you um, who are, you know, um, it, it's also very clear to me. It's, it's like, you know, um, I, I don't see see you getting into any relationship um right now it's it's like you are happy being single you are happy it's more like you are more happy being single you are more satisfied where you are right now because you do believe you deserve somebody better you deserve somebody who will bring you positivity along with happy romance along with strength, along with stability, along with love. And this person that you have been dealing with is somebody not stable at all. And that person gives you the feeling of, foot, you know, uh, turmoil or something. It's like, you know, they, they bring chaos in your life for some reasons. I don't know why. But whoever this person is uh, from, your, uh, from your past, from uh, who is your either ex or somebody from your past, or somebody you are already dealing with. It, it can be your ex, it can be your current partner, it can, since it's a general reading, I cannot specify who this person is. But whoever that person is that you are dealing, be that your ex, be that your current partner, 
this person is giving you sleepless nights this person is making you juggle between should i go for this relationship should i just you know leave this person behind it's it's like you know that kind of um, uh push and pull you are having right now it's like you know you are not able to decide you know um no doubt you have connection with this person it's like you know the connection is there and that is the only reason why you are you know struggling to make the decision because you like this person but then you feel like i deserve somebody better i deserve somebody who could bring me the stability who could bring me the strength who could bring me the love which is without this chaos that this person brings in your life you want somebody stable you want somebody who is mature enough to take um responsibilities uh, that comes with the relationship and i do believe that this person who you ever uh, dealing with is somebody very childish if not childish they have their stubborn nature or they are somebody who is um very uh it's it's like you know they want things to be done their way they will not listen to you they will not see the bigger picture they will want this there and then they might be somebody who is addicted uh in a way they might have some addiction um be that you know drug addiction or any other uh, addiction but i do pick up that energy strongly too you love them you do kind of try to tame them but you i feel like you are done with all those things you don't want to deal with anymore with it anymore because it's more like you know you put your energy into it and you get nothing out of it other than this chaos other than this you know um instability that this person brings in your life and it's like you don't want this you don't want to deal with this anymore and i believe by the end of the month um you are going to you know pick yourself up and you will finally take that decision of walking away from this person rather than you know working on this relationship any longer because you have done that this never ended into something good so you would choose to stay optimistic about your love life and you would choose to walk away from this person at least if not forever at least till the time that this person show you some change in them and i don't see it happening in the month of october i do see that you choose to stay single taking care of yourself looking after yourself going out you know spending time in the parties uh, meeting your you know male friends or guy friends or whoever you want to you know meet with you are going to enjoy being yourself being with yourself or being with the close friends that you have um you would like to you know or uh, give time to your business you would like to give time to the things that bring you peace happiness joy rather than you know putting in the effort to you know make things work with this relationship because you have done that it never you know gave you anything and it's like now in the month of october you're going to walk away from this relationship with or uh, this person that you are dealing with and you will choose to um you uh, you will choose to stay single you would not accept any love offer i don't see you accepting accepting any love offer coming your way in the month of october you would be enjoying your time being uh with the people you like and i don't see you are ready for you know jumping into any relationship as of now because you have had enough with the tower card here in this particular relationship that you are right now or that you have been you know dealing with uh since quite some time now and you you don't want you know even the thought of uh, going into something new gives you this you know uh it it's kinds of you know uh, scares you from getting into a new thing because you you get paranoid thinking of it so that's the energy that i'm picking up with these cards and uh, i do believe you it's it's not like you know you are going to choose to be single but that is not bogging you down you are going to be happy because you will realize you know it's better to be in a uh, to be single rather than to be in a relationship which was you know sucking on your energies positivities and all the good things from out of your life and um so that's exactly what you're going to choose you're going to stay optimistic uh, about your love life you're going to be um you're going to be you know uh, sure that you know you will be clear in your head that you know i deserve somebody better i deserve some loving fulfilling relationship i don't deserve this chaos that this person brings in my life every time 
they come uh, to you or every time you know they uh, you try to give them a chance they kind of you know ruin this uh, this whole thing for uh, for the two of you and that's exactly what you're going to do you're going to walk out of this relationship you're going to say no to them and you are going to um you know pray to god or uh, whichever you know uh, way you choose and you would uh, you know meditate on to bringing something or uh, manifesting some positive relationship some fulfilling relationship into your life but you would be happy the way you are right now you would be happy i believe you will be you know getting ties with this person um um i just see like you know you will have the communication with this person in the start of the month and then you will be you know taking back your strength or you know gathering your strength back and then you will be taking care of yourself and then this person will reach out to you again at the end of the month and then too you would feel like you know i better stay single and then you will tell them no i don't want you so it's like you know you are going to have a uh, communication with this person in the start and then and the uh, around the uh, you know end of october and then you will walk into the next month being single i don't see you getting committed to this person in this month i don't see this relationship working out for the two of you in this month but yeah i don't know what what will come in the next month but at least in this month you are not going to accept any offer coming your way you would choose to be um alone you would choose to love yourself rather than to be in a relationship that would suck your peace out of your life so um let me read this card now uh, additional uh, guidance from the miracle cards stay away from people who gossip or speak ill about others um i believe it's like you know again it resonates a lot with the whole thing up um let me read out this whole thing because um i do get requests otherwise that you know you should have you know included the whole thing so let me read it out uh, for you uh this card is a very powerful protector and remover of negative energies this uh guides you with symbolic visions and insights during times of distress and warns you against bad luck misfortunes and treachery um if you have picked this card during a bleak phase in life this assures you that you are protected and will be helped in overcoming this difficult time when um uh, when he feels compassionate he ensures good health if you had a bad dream corrected by visualizing a positive outcome pursue your dreams and positively affirm to see them fulfilled so i believe like i said in the start uh, that you need to meditate and um I believe you will be very positive about your future uh, uh, about the future of your love life I believe and for those of you who are you know still going on through this uh, because in the start you will be making this decision that you don't want to go for this person and you will be telling them that I don't want it but for those of you who will you know struggle you know to make the decision I will suggest you because this person gives you only negativity so just you know push them away tell them no I don't want to deal with any of that you know um that uh, chaos that they bring in your life tell them to you know sh just shoo them away from your life and uh, you know gather your you know peace and try to uh, meditate try to uh, because i believe that i i don't see you will be going into any uh, negative uh, you know um cycle again because i do see that you are aware of the uh with the nine of pentacles here and ace of swords i do feel like you will have the clarity of mind that you deserve something good and when you know that you deserve something good and beautiful you will never settle in for this uh bs for sure so um i wish you all the best and i will see you in the next reading that i'll do for the personal reading if you are willing to get one you can reach out to me on my email id in the description box uh, till i do the next reading take care bye bye